wanted to uh, talk about my approach to learning a tune. This is um, a great tune, Jazz Waltz, uh, by Freddie Hubbard called Up, Jump, Spring. And let's give you some of the um, ways that I approach it uh, and my parameters and how I might teach it. talk about that in a second. So that's getting us through the first A section and then there's a, a, a bridge which sounds like this. Turn our turn around and then we're back to I'm doing it there, but of course you want to be able to do it wherever you can play it. Hmm. You get the idea, do it here. All your different, so, you know, this is kind of an advanced uh, study, so if you don't know your cage stuff, you can't play melodies in different places, then go back over uh, some of the videos I talk about with cage. But just to show you, I mean, you can play it here. The thing is, is the guitar is what, about three octaves, maybe four at the most. Um, I'm going to add some of the bass. So this would be. tune. I want to know the whole tune over the whole neck. And then I pick uh, various parameters to kind of hold myself in, force myself to do things I wouldn't normally do instead of just... We all know when we grab the guitar, we just grab here. It says B, uh, well, you don't learn B flat first, but let's just pretend that you, that's, so you just grab, there's a B flat chord. Oh, okay, there's another B flat chord. Here's one, here's B flats. Um, we're still not really playing the guitar. The guitar is still dictating to us in that frame of mind where our, we put our fingers uh, instead of, thinking musically that's what i'm trying to say so what i try to do is i put these parameters on me to kind of hold my you know arm back and and try to force myself into new ideas that i wouldn't normally play so this is an idea i came up with i wanted to do just a a real standard arpeggio one two three root third fifth root third fifth throughout the whole tune that's something that pianists can do with no problem whatsoever. So we're just trying to play like a piano player and we're, you know, it, it's, it, we can't do it, you know, but so the left hand would just do root third, fifth and the right hand would play the melody and everything would be copacetic on the piano, uh, piano. But, uh, here, you know, it t takes a little more work and it's more of a challenge. So, and so, in some places I do run out of guitar space. And so you'll see me, um, maybe doing third, fifth root kind of arpeggios in the bottom but I'll, I'll i'll talk about that in a second but so it's an exercise so this we'll, position here around the sixth fret um so it goes uh right here you gotta move it up an octave Augmented sound. So root third fifth, uh, flat five. Uh, root third fifth. Root third flat five. Minor is a minor. You know, minor three. You know, I don't have to jump up that octave. I can I can cheat, so uh, and um, and and fake it, and, and that might be the best way to do it. I don't, I don't know if you like that jump. Not crazy about it either. But these are things you got to negotiate. So here's that uh, beginning again. And then we 
Ja. Jumping up an octave. Oh, sorry. Right here. So do do right. Position and then here's this position, right? This is the, the D shape, right? So this one would be That square boxy thing. I'm, 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 I'm trying to keep it in that. You know, I'm forcing myself into that box again. Once again, this is not how I would pl play the tune, but this is how I practice it. So we'll start here in the in the first position. So the, it'll sound like this. We're at the A seven D. Um, e, e flat so you get the idea and I, but I want to put that with the melody in that position as much as possible let's talk about that uh, D minor 7 to E flat minor 7 it's one of the things that makes the tune it's just it's just a pausing place it's like it's a pretty little uh, spot where it just the harmony is not it's just not going anywhere and, and it's uh, it makes the tune so uh so we could do this if you wanted to, but what Freddie Hubbard decided to do was take it up a half step. Right? And then with our... Right? So you could do that here, right? So here's here's the exercise. So we'll start off with the melody. So here I have to fake the uh, arpeggio because I can't go root third fifth because I'm out of guitar space. So I do an inversion there. Same thing here. So we're, it's still not quite music. We're just kind of moving in that direction because I'm, I'm forcing myself to do these things. And then here's the, the first turnaround, the first ending. So this is a cool thing to talk about as well, just harmonically. So you have this B7 flat 5, which is obviously a chord of tension and dis, dissonance. And then E7. So, really nice changes there, right? And that's that uh, descending chromatic line there. You hear that in the in the chords and the melody? So I'm no, now I'm moving the position up. You can do it there. Back to the position we were just at. So we so that position mo moves into that position easily. Uh, let's do it in this position. So the chords here, uh, and then C minor. See, these are the chords that you would normally play here. Okay, now we're 
going to do it with the melody. Mm, out of space. Oh. So, well, I'm trying to try and, in this example, not to move my positions too much. Uh, some of these are going to be hard to do, but that's the idea. So. space so I'm playing that melody then root fifth then mel melody and then so there's some compromises that have to be made because I'm playing so low on the neck let's do it a little bit higher uh, maybe I'll do it here and then I'll take it up an octave so I'll do this here Let's go to the uh, the bridge. What does the bridge do? Mm -hmm. Trying to keep that arpeggio going. I don't know if I did that right or not. Um, the bridge. Yeah. idea of it here. And then you could do it up here. So the idea is now to try to keep that. I'm cheating here and there because um, of limitations of the guitar, really, because I'm running out of guitar space. I'm playing it all down here. Let's go up a little bit higher so if I don't have to cheat as much. Oh. position do an inversion of the a7 uh, and then D minor E flat and then my C uh, you know 11 C4 sus4 and then F and then up a half step resolving back to the chord at the end so So we can do the. <laughs> oh. So try to keep that. There. So we have to keep that baseline going. One, two. Right. We were talking about it. So uh, that's what that would sound like there. I think. I mean, it's close. There's a lot of uh, moving parts in here. I love the way it's it's coming together and it sounds. Of course, I would not play it like that. That is not how I would approach uh, improvising on it. See, I'm just approaching improvising at this point, so I'm learning it on the neck. I would not do it that way. I would do a mixture of all the things that I already know, like the chords. Like, so if I just were to the comp, so I'm doing it in four. I'm touching one, two.
So maybe I go. I'll, I'll go to the. Uh, and that I just went straight to the playing the melody and the chords together. So I, I might do that. So it's all coming together. See, that's that's. And so maybe I'll do. I like the way that sounds. Um, I guess those uh, those dissonances, maybe. this if I can do it so but hear the bass boo da dum Playing around with it a little bit more than I was before. Uh, what is this? I did something wrong. Oh yeah. And it's a work in progress. But that's uh, kind of how I approach.